Multiply decimals. What strategies can we use to place a decimal point in a product of two decimals? Let's look at this example. 1.9 times 4.35. One way is using estimation. We estimate the product by rounding each factor to the nearest whole number and multiplying them as whole numbers. We can round 1.9 up to 2 and round 4.35 down to 4. Now we have 2 times 4, which equals 8. So our answer for 1.9 times 4.35 should be around 8. Then we multiply 1.9 and 4.35 as the whole numbers 19 and 435. We get 8,265. Now let's go back to decimals. We know from the estimation that the answer should be around 8. We put a decimal point after 8. We can't put the decimal point before 8 because it would be 0 0.8, which is less than 8. We also can't put a decimal point after 2, 6, or 5 because it would be much greater than 8. The second method is using place value. We multiply as whole numbers and we get 8,265. Now let's go back to decimals. Count the digits after the decimal point in each factor and add them up. Here we have three digits. One, two, three. So we move the decimal point to the left three times and we get 8.265 again. Let's try some examples. 1.4 times 1.6. Let's solve using the first method, estimation. We can estimate this as 1 times 2, which equals 2. So our final answer should be around 2. We multiply as whole numbers we get 224. Now we have to put the decimal point. The final answer should be around two, so we put the decimal point right after the two. Let's do another example. 3.72 times 1.8. First we multiply. Now let's use the place value method to get the decimal point. Count the digits after the decimal point in each factor and add them up. One, two, three. Here we have three digits. We move the decimal point to the left three times and we get 6.696. Let's do another example. 2.84 times 3.2. Let's solve this using the estimation method. We round our factors to get three times three, which equals nine. So our final answer should be around nine. Now we multiply 2.84 times 3.2 as the whole numbers 284 and 32 to get 9,088. We know our final answer should be around 9, so we put the decimal point right after the 9. Let's try another example. 0 0.063 times 0 0.02. We can't use the estimation method here because the numbers are way too small. So we're going to have to use the place value method. First, we multiply. Count the digits after the decimal point in each factor and sum them up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here we have 5 digits. We move the decimal point to the left 5 times. We'll put zeros in the empty spaces. Let's do another example. 0 0.017 times 0 0.21. We use the place value method again because the factors are way too small. First, we multiply. Now we have to figure out where we're going to put the decimal point. We count the digits after the decimal point in each factor and we add them up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have 5 digits, so we move the decimal point to the left 5 times. We put zeros in the empty spaces. If you thought this video was helpful, please leave a like. For more videos like this, please subscribe.